Hey yo, what's the word with those who never fail to keep me on their radar? My favorite people, the Chico Army. For those of you who don't know, my name is Tyler, the host that will never give up the ghost of the bull. When will you return? Find out in about 10 minutes, give or take a few, because it's time for Chico Crypto. Where are the July fireworks for Bitcoin and the crypto markets? We are already almost two weeks in. What is going to kick us out of this 30 to 40K range? As much as people will complain and let out a sigh, Elon Musk. Well, stop sighing. His initial tweets, which began back in 2020 and the big ones in early 2021, got the markets to pop and break into the ranges we see today. And then his next set of tweets, comparison to the boring company, Tesla's support for the asset tweets, and finally the buy tweets help push it to its peak. But then his flip-flops is what helped smack the price down, specifically mentioning the mining centralization and how bad Bitcoin is for the environment. Those tweets targeting Bitcoin for its dirty energy usage and Chinese centralization came beginning May 12th and four days later, the 16th. Well, just two months later, and the reasons for his disliking of Bitcoin, it's fixed. It was just two days from the Elon centralization tweet that the China attack on Bitcoin began. First payment processors, but that wasn't enough. It kept ramping up through May with the first Chinese regional bans, then more regions in mid-June, and finally the nail in the China coffin late June. 90% of China's mining capacity was supposedly going offline. This has been reflected in the hash rate collapse of Bitcoin. Raw values show from the mid-April high, 198 million terahashes, to the June low, 58 million terahashes, a collapse of basically 70%. Then the last estimates put out regarding concentration of Bitcoin in China from Cambridge show that there was over 65% dominance. And the dirty mining region Elon specifically mentioned, Xinjiang, was number one by a long shot. What was Elon's wish for BTC to be reaccepted by Tesla? Well, he said what it would take for them to take BTC for payment once again, when there's confirmation of reasonable 50% clean energy usage by miners with positive future trend. Tesla will resume allowing Bitcoin transactions. Well, with 90% of the dirty energy China was mining with gone, that goal should be exceeded. And the people in China are saying it is true. For example, top Bitcoin mining pool CEO Yang Zhu R tweeting at Elon saying just that. So is old Elon about to flip flop once again back to Bitcoin being part of the plan, plan B? Well, isn't it just convenient? Just as China drops out on a massive level, Elon is about to be on stage talking about Bitcoin at the B Word Conference, whose tagline for the event is how institutions can embrace Bitcoin. It was just a few weeks ago when Elon agreed to join the event with a little bi curious and bit curious back and forth play with Jack Dorsey, and Jack considers it the talk. Jeez, guys, get a room. Well, everyone should know these two have had more than a good relationship before this. Jack has personally called up Elon during a Twitter employee conference to FaceTime so Elon could give his suggestions on how to run Twitter. Elon has publicly stated that Jack has a good heart when he was almost ousted by his own company in March of last year. And when Elon's account was hacked just after this in June of last year, Elon personally called his bud Jack to get it back. So what is the Bitcoin basis for their chat? Well, many media outlets from all over the spectrum are calling it a debate, like there are some really big differences to be had between the two. Differences? Well, the only public talk between the two before the word talk on Bitcoin wouldn't make you think they disagree, but would make you think they agree. Jack tweeted in April of this year, Bitcoin incentivizes renewable energy. Musk replied to this unprovoked with one word, true. And what's sus about this reply is what Jack was retweeting. He was retweeting Square and ARK Invest Co. white paper, where they argue Bitcoin is the economic key to rapid deployment of renewables across the globe. 
The key here, in my opinion, is the ARK Invest and CEO Kathy Wood. Of course, Square and them wrote the Energy White Paper together, but they are also co-hosting the B-Word event. And Elon Musk, twice when tweets included ARK Invest and Square, has felt the need to reply. Why? Well, Elon and Kathy Wood have a relationship too. February of 2019, Elon gave one of his more detailed public talks on Bitcoin. Let's listen to the parts that relate to everything that I just covered. I have a little bit of a different question for the, it's a little bit off topic, but it's in the news or it's becoming more in the news. Uh, so it's about crypto, crypto assets, crypto, uh, you know. Uh, uh, crypto, uh, seriously? Is it Chris, seriously, seriously, very seriously. I think you and Jack Dorsey have chatted a bit uh, recently about this, right? Bitcoin and Ethereum scammers were so rampant on on uh, Twitter that I, I said I'd just join in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I said, I said like one point, want to buy some Bitcoin? <laughs> yeah, I saw uh, that. And, and then I got, <laughs> my account got suspended because <laughs> oh, they obviously had like some automatic rule that would, if you try to sell Bitcoin oh, or no. something, <laughs> but I was just joking. Uh, yeah. 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 So my, my, my question is a little, it's a, it's a little different from cryptocurrencies. Although given your history in the payments ecosystem, it would be very interesting to know if you agree with Jack and there is going to be one name. Uh, cryptocurrency when it comes to the internet. He thinks it's Bitcoin. It's, it's interesting. I have some friends of mine that are kind of really involved in crypto. I mean, I think like the Bitcoin structure was quite brilliant. Yeah, it seems like there's some merit to Ethereum as well and, and maybe some of the others. But, you know, I'm not sure. It's like, I'm not sure that it would be a good use of Tesla resources to get involved in crypto. I mean, we're really just trying to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. And I mean, I think actually one of the downsides of crypto is that it, computationally, it's like quite energy intensive. Jack Dorsey is once again revealed as a friend of Elon's. They chatted regarding Elon's account getting banned. Elon reveals once again his thoughts on how energy intensive BTC is. And it would be a waste of Tesla resources to get involved. Hmm, but they did get involved, more than involved too, putting $1.5 billion of Tesla's cash reserves right into Bitcoin. Now, does that make a lick of sense to you? Why would a company put roughly 10% of its cash reserves into an asset only to say a few weeks later, whoops, we forgot how the mining is not in line with our own ESOs? Well, they wouldn't unless they had a plan for that asset. And I've spoken many, many times on what I think Elon's plan is. More than a few videos, you should check them out. They're in the description. But before the B Word conference, we need to speak on it one more time. I believe the next version of the Tesla Powerwalls will come with the ability to connect to ASIC Bitcoin miners or even GPUs for other types of cryptocurrency mining. This will offset the cost of solar products offered from Tesla, as a home could now use the extra power they make and mine cryptocurrencies with it, instead of it literally going to waste. Why do I think this? Well, head researcher for ARK Invest, Brett Winton, put out a research blog post in April of this year titled, Solar Plus Battery Plus Bitcoin Mining. The research states, with real-world data, we seek to demonstrate that Bitcoin mining could encourage investment in solar energy systems, enabling renewables to generate a higher percentage of grid power with no change in the cost of electricity. Without Bitcoin mining and according to our model, solar, an intermittent energy source, could supply only 40% of grid power before utilities would face the need to fund significant investments with higher electricity prices. With Bitcoin mining integrated into a solar system, solar plus batteries. However, we believe energy providers, whether utilities or independent entities, could play the arbitrage between electricity prices and Bitcoin prices, as well as sell the surplus solar and supply almost all grid power demands without lowering their profitability. The research goes on to show that 99% of grid demand could be met with the addition of Bitcoin mining into solar systems. Then they show the proof of concept model, discuss how much would need to go into Bitcoin mining to meet demand levels, and finally a top highlight of the article is this. We believe these three-part energy systems should work at all scales and could create interesting opportunities at the residential level, particularly if the heat waste from the Bitcoin mining can be put to use in other applications.
So now the question is, why in the F is ARK Invest doing this thorough research into solar and Bitcoin mining? They don't have anything as a company to do with solar or Bitcoin mining. Or do they? If you didn't know, ARK Invest has an ETF called the Next Generation Internet ETF, like a new landscape of companies and assets creating the future of tomorrow. The top holdings of this ETF? Number one, Tesla. Number three, Jack Dorsey's Twitter. Number five, Jack Dorsey's Square. Number seven, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC. And number nine, Coinbase Coinstock. And now, let's just play what Kathy Wood of ARK Invest said in May about Elon Musk and why he decided to start criticizing Bitcoin and what his next moves could be. First, I think what happened uh, was that Elon uh, probably got a few calls from institutions. I noticed that BlackRock is their number three shareholder and Larry Fink is the CEO is focused on uh, ESG and especially on climate change. Uh, so I'm sure BlackRock registered some complaints and uh, perhaps another, there are some European, very large holders and Europe's extremely sensitive to this, more so than the US in many ways. And so he probably wanted to reassess the situation saying, wait a minute, what have I what, what have I gotten into here? Do I not understand uh, the environmental impact? Uh, and so now I think that he has um, uh, encouraged a lot more con conversation, a lot more analytical thinking. And I do believe he's going to become a part of the process. Uh, I think he'll be very happy to introduce Bitcoin mining into an, a Tesla ecosystem, uh, maybe working with merchant power producers or what have you. And I think, uh, I think you know, he started Tesla because he wants to save humanity from ourselves, from, from environmental disaster. I think he'd like to be a part of proliferating uh, solar and other renewables faster than otherwise would be the case, not just for selfish reasons, having to do with his solar roofs and the power walls and so forth, uh, but again, for the same reason he started Tesla. Uh, and you know, one thing that this has done for us at ARC, we, we have never invested in solar. And the reason we've never in invested is we need to believe that within a five-year time frame, without subsidies, uh, a, an industry is going to be able to hit escape velocity and be profitable. Uh, we have not really been able to say that in a big way about solar. This dynamic might change that. So I'm actually quite excited about it. Elon is coming to clean up Bitcoin mining. There is no doubt about that in my mind. And announcements could come during the B word. Cheers. I'll see you next time.